This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. More fun Republican fights. Now, this is not really fair to call it a Republican fight because it's a local Fox uh, station, so they're not necessarily Republican. Although Roger Ailes is running a lot of the local Fox stations now. But anyway, mm. so we've got a, a Fox 5 news team down in Georgia, and they're going to go uh, to uh, Governor uh, Deal's uh, public event, and uh, they're not going to be allowed in. So that's the fun part. Let's start first with uh, clip number six. Lisa Governor Deal invited the entire press corps into his office for the signing of high-profile bill involving immigration. Everyone except Fox 5. They told us they were upset about our I-Team story last night. Our Justin Gray and myself arrived at the governor's office this morning, not knowing we would be met by at least nine Georgia State patrolmen and Capitol Police blocking us at his door. Justin got there first. Justin, if you can hold up for us. This is a public press event. Right. We're going to hold up. Why aren't you letting us in? We'll go over here. I think the press staff here has already advised you of what uh, is going on today. This is a public have, event, correct? That's correct. And we're following the governor's press office instructions to prohibit you from coming in at this time. Are you, like we, you're we prohibiting get, a media group that you don't approve with the reporting? We're the instructions of the uh, governor's office. We'll get one of the representatives. What are those instructions? Okay. As soon as my father apolog uh, apologizes for telling lies about it, I'll come back. Excuse me? What was that? As soon as my father apologizes to us, I'll come back. So because you don't agree with our reporting, you lied about us, yes. We lied about you is what you're saying. That was lied, by the way. So you're not letting us into a public meeting, is what we understand? That's the orders that we've been given. That's the orders yes, you've been given. All right. Thank you, sir. Now, our story last night that upset the governor's staff so much dealt with these main issues. Nathan Deal's campaign, while he was running for governor, paid $90,000 to a company linked to his daughter-in-law, Denise Deal. At the time, her name could not be found in the official corporate records. She had no company phone listing or address, no active website, and no business license. Look, it's a pretty serious story, actually. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. And I think that that's a perfect example of something you talk about all the time. You know, um, politicians cutting off access to the media as soon as they report the facts. I don't know if those are the facts in this case, but obviously they reported a story that didn't look too good for the politicians, and all of a sudden the politicians are like, no, it's not a public event, you're out of here. No, it's a public it event, is, except for you guys. Except for you, yeah. But that's not, that's not right. That's totally unacceptable. I agree. And that's how they try to influence the media into giving them positive positive coverage and punish them mm -hmm. if they give them negative coverage. And the state troopers, they, their bosses should know better than that. Not those guys at the door, they're following the orders that their boss gave them. But you can't keep out the media because the governor told you to. That's not right. And so now let's go back and see their original story to see, uh, you know, uh, what evidence they did have. Let's go to 6A. Russ, our investigation began when we saw two large payments in Nathan Deal's campaign disclosures to a company I'd never heard of. One $50,000, another $40,000. Enough money to pique our interest. According to campaign disclosures, Nathan Deal's campaign paid $90,000 to a fundraising company called Southern Magnolia Capital. That's a big expenditure, but we had never heard of them. So we set out to find out who they were. Records on file with the Secretary of State show it was a new company, which began in January of 2010. The company has members, but does not list them. We checked business licenses in Gainesville and Hall County. No Southern Magnolia Capital. Gainesville, Georgia for Southern Magnolia Capital. There is no phone listing and no active web page. We did find, along with Nathan Deal, Hall County Senator Butch Miller hired Southern Magnolia Capital for his campaign. I actually sought them out and uh, they agreed to help me. On his campaign disclosure, Southern Magnolia Capital's address is listed as a P.O. Box, number 2917. Southern Magnolia Capital. We tracked that P.O. Box number <laughs> to Rushton and Company in Gainesville, an accounting firm. Rushton and Company. That's us. No Southern Magnolia. No Southern Magnolia. <laughs> so until this morning in late March, in this hallway, when we stopped Senator Miller, we had no idea who was behind Southern Magnolia Capital. And who are the individuals in Southern Magnolia Capital? Uh, uh, a couple of individuals, one of which is uh, 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 Denise Deal. 
Denise Deal is the daughter-in-law of Governor Nathan Deal, married to Judge Jason Deal. Any concern at all in the governor's mind that he is ultimately paying um, a family member, the wife of his son? Well, I, 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 we knew it, it would be an issue. Governor Nathan Deal wouldn't talk to us. His campaign manager, Philip Wilhite, said the hiring of Denise Deal was his idea, though he admits Nathan Deal signed off on it. And he said they hired her because she was the best person for the job. And it was all transparent. You say transparent, yet when I see this company name, I can't find who controls the company. I can't find where they're working out of. I can't call them and there's no address and the P.O. box number uh, on the records is not them. That doesn't well, sound I, transparent. Well, in my mind it's transparent. Philip Wilhite oh, says Denise God. Deal works out of her home and uses a P.O. box similar to the one listed on campaign disclosure records. Yeah. Wilhite says Denise Deal has a perfect fundraising background the former Hall County Chamber of Commerce president with an MBA and government affairs experience with a Rolodex a mile wide. He says everyone knew she worked on the campaign and that they paid her a salary and bonuses. Campaign disclosures show Denise Deal was paid more than $38,000 in salary. But you won't find Denise Deal's name linked to Southern Magnolia Capital and those high dollar payments totaling $90,000. I can't answer that question. They don't I, list the officers. But I, I can't answer that. I don't. I don't think there's any clandestine reason for it. I don't. But I can't tell you why. Wow. That was simply the best local news report I've seen in a long, long time. That was really, really good. Right. Of course, that'll get you banned. Of course. If you find out they're funneling money to the governor's daughter, they're not going to let you into the news reports anymore. Okay. And, they, and look, if you're a local news station, that has ramifications. You're going to be, have a harder time getting the news in the other stations. Eventually, your bosses are going to complain. Right. They don't like that kind of stuff, okay? I, now, I hope that doesn't happen in Georgia. I hope that uh, that Fox station stays strong. Uh, but that was some great work on their part, man. I mean, when's the last time you saw a television reporter actually chase down a story? Yeah, they were persistent. You know, they kept checking up. They kept asking the questions. They got, you know, to the heart of the matter. I think that it's incredible. That's man, that's an I-team, man. Yeah. You know, normally they call it an I-team and they'll do nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. In local news. That was a serious investigation. Great job, Fox 5. And... Uh, and look, the people of Georgia should be uh, outraged at what's happening there. Mm -hmm. Look, because if you don't get behind a good report like that, well, then what you're doing is you're telling uh, politicians it's okay, mm -hmm. be as corrupt as you like, or as non-transparent as you like. And it's not necessarily illegal to do this, but it is interesting and it is questionable. Mm -hmm. And they clearly tried to hide it. There's no question about yeah. that. Well, then, you know, if you discourage reports like that, well, then you're going to have your politicians doing a lot of shady things without anybody reporting it. Mm -hmm. So you got to have, uh, believe it or not, look at uh, Young Turk saying you got to have Fox's back on that. So that's a local Fox station, but doing a great job there. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges, free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT, free trial membership, you get Netflix all over you.